So you've been doing, you've been uh, making a wine with Bien Nacido since the beginning, right? 95. 95. 95. Yep. And, and how far is that vineyard from where you guys are there in uh, San Luis Obispo? Oh, it must be 25 miles as the crow flies, maybe a 40 minute drive down there. Okay. So and it's Santa Maria, you... east, east of Santa Maria. Uh, yeah, east, east of Santa Maria, maybe 10 to 12 or 15 miles inland from the Pacific Ocean. So it's not and, as close as we are to the ocean, but it's flatter down there. So they their coastal influence extends more inland than it would here, I think. Um, where they go ahead, sorry. What's happening? Oh, foggy nights and sunny days, but still quite cool and plenty of breeze. Not, windy, not, not, yeah. not like a horribly windy place, but lots of ocean breeze, even that far inland. So from, I guess from down, before you get to Santa Rita Hills, up until maybe Monterey, that's probably the most well-known vineyard in that area. Is that, is that safe to say? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it... it, it it's, it's pretty big, too, right? Yeah. I think maybe 800 acres total. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. 600, eight, yeah, it's pretty good size. And, and then, you, of course, they've got Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Syrah, lots of other things there. And do you always get the same block from them, or? Uh... Yes, more or less. I mean, over the 20 or so years we've been working with them, I have moved around a little bit. Um, I was... Uh, but not that much. I think I only made two moves total. So I was originally in block G, which of course is the best block. And every winemaker will say that, whatever block they're in. And then I moved over to F for a little while, but then I moved back to G when they had interplanted a row of the newer clones between the old rows. So I basically came back to the same block, but moved six feet north <laughs> or six feet south, whichever way you want to look at it. So, that vineyard was planted in the early 70s, 12 foot rows. And back in the days when we were growing kind of a California sprawl, very bushy, and the, there was no um, vertical shoot positioning or anything like that. But maybe 20 years ago, when we realized if we go to vertical shoot positioning, open the canopy up around the fruit, we have less problems with botrytis. That was really the primary motivation for doing this. We also realized, oh, there's better sunlight exposure on the fruit and the wines are better. So it was sort of a twofold um, improvement over what we were doing. But then you had all this space in between the rows. So the millers just planted another row right down the middle. So I went from, I think an old, maybe a Pomard clone to a newer Dijon clone 667. So, and that's what this is. And, and so what, 